really, really, really like how my world looks at night. I think it looks really good. It's all well lit up. Normally, it's considered bad etiquette if you start a video at night, but you know what? I think the castle looks pretty good. Hey, everyone, welcome back to the wonderful world of Nimbus. 1.8 has just been released, and my, oh my, there are a ton of changes in this patch. But before we get looking at any of them, we need to do a quick run through Castle Nims here and make sure that none of our redstone devices have broken. There is an Enderman right there. Well, hey, the the door opened just fine. Well, we'll get the Enderman. Oh, and he teleports. And it closed. Cool. So first test is done. So hey there, hi there, ho there, everyone. How are you doing? Oh, man. What went on here? There is a chicken frenzy. They've all escaped. No. Oh, well. I think this is going to be the most delicious chicken escape plan ever hatched. Oh, you see what I did there? Yeah. Okay. So anyways, how goes it? How's everyone? Don't land on that pressure plate. You saw nothing, viewer. How goes it, everyone? Yeah, doing good. Um, chicken farm still seems to be working. What's the entity count in there? I'm counting 65 entities in this direction, but what if I tilt it up? I'm getting 37 to 40 entities. That might be including the iron golem farm, which we should probably go check on as well. Um, so let's see. How can we test this? Let's just let's just grab a bunch of iron. Let's grab like uh, 10 iron, throw it into the thing, and then 10 poppies and throw it. In. I mean, this isn't an iron farm. This is a poppy farm. Am I right? Am I right? Okay. So this is at 38, should go to 48. So let's snack on some chicken in the meantime. Nom nom, that was some good chicken. It's counting, 46, 47, 48. That seemed good. And I didn't really pay attention to the poppies, to be honest. Uh, I don't see any reason why this should break. This is pretty just standard. Okay, let's move on, let's move on. Anything else I should be concerned about? Mmm, yeah. Let's go ahead and check out the... The storage room. That one might break, too. Nope! Okay, cool, cool! Well, that's awesome, then. Well, in today's episode, I'm gonna go ahead and grab one thing on camera. Let's see, I need some iron here. This is what we're going to be building. Uh, in 1.8... Iron trap doors have come out. Now, iron trap doors work very, very similarly to iron, just regular iron doors. Uh, if you, let's see, can I get a, a block? Uh, I just want a stone block. Okay, thank you, video game. Um, they work very similarly that if you had, like, a bow and you try to pull back on your bow, you can't because you're going to right-click the trap door. Well, because of this, I've come up with a design that lets you make a fishing farm super efficiently and this is something that I was actually meaning to build for a very very long time I just haven't gotten around to it well now now because uh, 1.8 has put out these awesome new trap doors that's what we're going to be building now we've got to do some location scouting I have no idea where to put this farm I was thinking that we should probably put it over here next to say the iron or not excuse me the gold farm which is out in the ocean down there so I could put it here ish but then the problem is like this area I need to save in case well for the potion storage I'm gonna try to build like an automatic brewing station here in you know we've got the floor that's the layout of a potion so this has got to be something pretty cool in there and I don't know how much room I'm going to need so I'm really scared to place it there then like what else what else could I do there's not any room through this place I could I could put it here, but this seems a bit overkill in size because this thing this thing is super freaking cool. It's just absolutely tiny, very small. Not that small though. Is it? Let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I mean I could put it there, but uh, ooh, e, ah, ah. Let's keep looking. 
So here's what I was thinking. We've got this wide open room here, right? I mean, all we've got here is the cactus farm is behind uh, like a little back alleyway underneath the stairs. And then we've got the, what is this? The cobblestone farm, you know, like the AFK cobblestone farm. You just stand here, put like a weight on your mouse, and then the cobble just keeps popping up right in front of you. You just keep breaking it and, you know, infinite cobble, basically. Well... A fishing farm is also like an AFK farm, where you you either, like, change the controls so that way your mouse button, two is, like, the up arrow key, and then you AF key, AFK with something uh, on that key. So it's like, okay, this is an AFK farm, so this will be an AFK farm here. So I'm thinking that we could build it right here. I think this will be a great spot for it. What I think we're going to do is let's line this up. So one, two, three, then we'll put the door here. Which means, hmm, we gotta come up with a better way to light that light. Well, fee fi fo fiddly fum, we might not be able to put it here. Let me, let me, hmm, hmm, hmm. I didn't think this through. Oh gosh, just block place correctly. Is there, a, is there a different way we could light that light? Okay, yeah, that would be far better. So let's do that then. Lever, you are being moved. So there's that, and then blocks there, there, there. And then doesn't doesn't matter. Then it goes here. Is this a step up? It might be. It might have to be a step up. Because if we knock that out, ooh, no, wait. But if we knock this out, that okay, yeah, that's floor. So it's gonna have to be a step up. Alright, so I've got the front face here done. Um, basically how this thing's going to work is it's uh, it's going to use that trapdoor, not allowing you to right click, to prevent you from reeling in your line. Then it'll detect when your bobber gets hit by a fish, you know how it like violently juts downwards. And uh, yeah, so then we'll, we'll detect that and then we'll let you reel in the line by opening the door. So here's kind of how it works. Uh, this, I'm just trying to make sure that I've got all my spacing correct and everything. So there's that and that, and then I don't have, I don't have a, okay, that's fine. I'll just continue on until I need that. Oh, goodness, goodness. So let's see. Um, then in front of this, there goes cobblestone wall like that and then that's where the water sits so then that gets built there that gets built there these are redstone blocks there there and there oh and i need some stairs too okay so no uh n no i'm good i'm good i'm good i'm good we've still got still got ways of doing this still got ways i always manage to forget one thing in these types of builds man always just one thing so then Spacing this out is is really hard to just wing. I'm surprised at how... So the water's there, which means that the trap door needs to be on this block, which means that the stair needs to be here. Oh. Stair needs to be there to mount the trap door on. Did I get that spacing right? Yeah. Hey, cool. Look at that. So then the water goes there. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and this is actually turning out to be more difficult to build than I originally expected. I was hoping that I would be able to build most of this on camera, but being able to talk and uh, like build a involved piece of redstone is, is actually turning out to be kind of difficult. Uh, so we'll check back in in a moment whenever I've got a little bit more of this done. All right, I'm now standing on top of it. As soon as I place this piece of redstone, it should start to pulse and do all sorts of fun, crazy stuff. Obviously, I don't have the water in place yet. Hey, there it goes. So you see how it's creating a perfect pulse in order to let us cast that fishing rod. It is uh, also, we can hear the dispenser or the dropper triggering here. Let's go ahead and put in some blocks and see what it does. So this, we should be able to put those into there and see how it's throwing them back out at us. But if we were to put a, like a door here, I don't have one on me, but if we were to put a door there and something on top of that, uh, the hopper at a delay would pick them back up. And that, that's what allows us to keep essentially fishing forever. So I'm going to go ahead and pull all that out and shut this thing off. It's going to be the death of me. Um, let's see where they should all be in here. 
Yeah, there we go. Much better. And then I'll shut that off. I believe it's now in a usable state. The last thing we have to do is we have to play with some doors. So I've grabbed one of each wood type, so that way we can see what all the new doors look like. I'm really, really excited to check this out. I will leave it up to you guys to decide which door looks the best. And, oh man, I'm so excited that they stacked the 64 now. Oh, that's such, that's such a good change. That means iron golem farms are gonna be that much easier to build. Okay, okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and drop all that stuff off so we can try out three doors at a time. So here is the acacia door. I'm not I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that. Um, I don't want to lose it. Here is the dark oak. Eh, it's okay. I don't like that you can't see through it. So if there were to be... Oh, I think I just lost that into... I'll get it later. Jungle door. What's it look like from the inside? Man, oh man. Lost that one too. Okay, so let's try the next set of doors. This is a regular oak door, the one that we're all very used to seeing. Not, not too shabby, but very retro. We've got a birch door. That looks kind of snazzy. But again, the problem is you can't see through it. So if there's a zombie waiting on the other side for me, I'm kind of uh oh And then lastly, uh, what is this? The spruce door. Okay, well, those are cool options. I think I'm going to go with the bird store for the time being. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Now, yes, the Namixian Sea Hook Mark II. Now we're going to give the farm a test. So what I should be able to do is I should be able to turn this on. The Let me grab the water so we can actually see what I'm talking about. So then uh, the trapdoor at the end should start to like spasm. It should freak out. And that should prevent us from... Oh, man, I forgot to place down... <sighs> okay, it'll be fine. There should be carpet on top of this hopper, but it'll be okay. So then this trapdoor should start to spaz out like that. And then we should be able to use that to catch our fish. So let's go ahead and place the water. Go ahead and target the very center. Perfect. Perfect. And see now, I'm not doing anything other than holding right click. And you can tell that I'm holding right click because my fishing pole is like spamming right click action. Now hopefully we get a fish fairly soon. And you can see what happens. The trap door is gonna open up. That's going to let us reel in the line which is going to capture the fish. So hopefully we get a good one pretty soon. Come on, video game. Here it comes. There we go. That was our first ever fish. Let me reel that out. And there it is, perfectly in the chest right there. And now, now what I want to do, I just want to say that you would be able to put in like a ton of fishing poles into this chest in order to like AFK here for like 30 hours or something ridiculous amount of time but i'm not going to stock it with fishing poles i'm going to use the namixian sea hook and then that's it like if i catch more fishing poles then i'll put those in there and then i want to see if this farm will catch enough fishing poles to supply itself infinitely yeah i think that'll be kind of a neat test and now i've also got to jazz up the uh I don't know, the aesthetics of this. Kind of interesting, I was going through uh, all of my chests here trying to find some item frames, and look at this, because our world is so old, we still have some of the really, really, really old just blank wooden slabs. They're not oak, they're not anything, they're just wooden slabs. And the texture's bugged. Look at that, it's kind of interesting. Might be able to do something fun with those. Any suggestions? I would love to hear them. I've now got the fishing farm completed. Look at that. Look at how nice it looks. Mmm. Again, if you have any suggestions on what door we should use, the acacia, or not the acacia, but the, what is, what is, what is that? The spruce door? What's the white door? What's the white wood? I don't remember. Anyways, if you have any suggestions on the door type, I would love to hear it. It looks pretty good when you're walking up to it. There's uh, a, not a whole lot of symmetry, but at least the spacing is the same here, so that way it doesn't look really out of place. And then everything works. I mean, you step inside, close the door behind you. 
Uh, oh, 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 I also want to show you the two last things I did to finish it up. I got that piece of carpet in. I've got a little bit of wall built around it. And then you can see there I've got, let me see if I can throw an ender pearl in there. Right here. This is this water has to be exposed to the sky. Well, it doesn't have to, but in order to get the best rates for your fishing, you really should have it exposed to the sky. And uh, that's what I did, so that way we can have the super ultra mega best fishing farm ever made sort of thing. So I'm gonna, I'm actually just gonna have some fun with this real quick. I am going to let this run. I'm just going to AFK in here with the Namixian C hook. Uh, for, I've got a timer. What do you, what do you say five minutes? We'll see what our rates are after five minutes. So I've just got one raw fish and uh, ready, set, and go. Oh, I'm aiming at the wrong spot. There we go. Okay, well, I'll check back in in just a couple minutes. And we just rounded over the five minute mark. I'm gonna go ahead and give it one more fish to catch. There we go. And shut this off. Now, see what I really like about this farm uh, is not only is it really small, compact, really nice and efficient, but the access points for both the fish and the fishing rods are on the front, which means that you don't have to walk inside or you don't have to come around the backside and it's just, it's all right there. It's all super easy to use and you can also use it from inside the farm as well. So let's see what we got. Eight fish, five salmon, a puffer fish, and a clown fish. What is that? Minus the one, that's seven plus five, we got about 14 in five minutes, so what? If we if we take 14, five, five goes into 60, what, 20 times? So what would that be, 14 times 20? That's like 200 drops an hour, just over 200 drops an hour. That's pretty good, I, I'm good with that. But then again, that is with like a super the best uh, fishing rod that you could possibly make. So eh, it might be a little biased, but still, very, very cool. Wahoo! Well, we've still got a little bit of time left in the episode. I thought that we would take uh, a moment and look for something else that was recently added in 1.8. I want to see if we can find a guardian temple. Oh, is it, did it work? Did, oh, I saw it and then it broke. What's going on? It launches and now it's breaking. Man, every single time, every single time that there's a patch, the boat launcher breaks. I'm gonna run up top, grab a boat. Uh, let's see, there should be some in here. Are there? Nope. Okay, well, let's just... Can we make a boat out of this? Yes, we can. Thank you. Yeehaw! Okay, so what I was thinking that we could do is over by... Well, one, I just kind of want to explore because guardians can still spawn in places where, uh, man, that the banner looks good. Guardians can still spawn in a place where a guardian temple should have spawned but didn't. So this that saves old worlds like this one from not being able to have guardian temples. And the fastest way to clear like large amounts of ground um, that has available spawning would just be to go on a boat ride. So this boat ride, we're also going to hopefully explore new chunks, but we will also be checking old chunks for guardian spawns. And I'm not seeing anything other than squid. Uh, out this way is where the, uh, the mesa biome is at. Wow, the world looks really good. Look at how well everything is like loading in. It's, I mean, there's a little bit of popping, but wow, oh wow, man. Looking freaking snazzy. So over here, I thought that this was new, and then there's like an ocean off to the side of it, so we could explore that. And then I think there's, I think that's all like forest to the left of it. So yeah, definitely to the right. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and keep exploring and update you if I find anything. I'm now at the wall that was caused by the just weird generation of the mesa being here. That was where we previously had, f the furthest we had explored, and then the mesa spawned, and... What is that? Is that... Is that half of a guardian temple? What is this? Oh my gosh, we could exploit this so freaking bad. 
Oh my goodness, look at that. That is half of a guardian temple. Wow. Wow, look at that. That's crazy, man. Oh snap, there's guardian, he's coming for us. Hey now. Step back, bro. Can I not shoot arrows from a boat now? I'm hitting the, my own boat. Okay, so this, this isn't going to work. Boat warfare does not work. Alright, so what I'm thinking that we do is I don't want to take advantage of an exploit. So I'm going to pop into like a MC Edit, delete the chunks, and then uh, let the temple load as it should have a full temple. Uh, yeah, I think crashing over here would be good. So here's what I've done is I've got a 5x5 five five area uh, of chunks selected around the Guardian Temple. I am going to delete those, and then whenever I load in the game next time, those should be there. So let's go ahead and do that. Delete. Minecraft will recreate them the next time you are near. Yes. Control, save. And see you in Minecraft. Wahoo! It worked! Yes! Look at that! That is a full guardian temple that is not split in half, that is not cleaved into. Yes, oh yes, oh my, oh my. I think I have an idea of what we're going to be doing in the next episode, but until then, this is the end of our current episode. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. My name has been Nims. If you could go ahead and leave me some feedback on maybe what we should do to be able to clear the guardian temple, and then uh, what door should we use for the fishing farm? I would be very, very appreciated. And again, thank you for watching, and I will see you in an... Oh, I meant to do... Oh, crap. Oh, I'll see you next time.